welcome to Between the Pages. I'm your host, Grace Randolph, and we're coming to you from Midtown Comics in Times Square. And today, my guest is from Midtown Comics. So I am. Yes, this is Thor Parker. I can't believe you have the names of two comic book characters. I do. It was fate that I <laughs> ended up working here. I think they saw my resume, and they they didn't even read past my name. They just right? hired me straight from there. Yeah. How long have you been working at Midtown Comics? Uh, I've been here for about four and a half years, actually. And you handle all their publicity and everything, all right? All the marketing and the mm -hmm. social media stuff like that. Yeah. Which is very important these days for comic book store, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? It's you know one of those things that you got to really. Uh, hammer home into people's minds. Mm -hmm. Well, you have quite a bit of publicity coming up. We do, right? we do, yes. That's why yes. you're on this show to discuss your new one-hour reality television show special. Tell them what it airs. The show is called Comic Store Heroes. Uh, it's going to air on the National Geographic channel. Legitimate. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be on Friday, July 13th at 8 p.m. Right smack in the middle of Comic-Con. Right in the middle right? of Comic-Con, yeah. So. <laughs> so I believe the pitch is, if you're not at Comic-Con and you want to get that Comic-Con feel, yes, right, exactly. you can watch this show. This is for, you know, there's, what, 100,000 people at San Diego Comic Con. This is for all the other people. There'll be people in there. San Diego who can't even get in. Yeah, right? exactly. But you know what they can do? They can find a yes. TV and watch a show. <laughs> you guys do so much for the industry. You host events for Marvel Comics mm -hmm. here. You have press conferences. You have tons of signings. You do uh, big DC midnight events. So you're so used to putting the attention on comic books. How is it having the attention on you? It's different. <laughs> I mean, I myself like to be in the spotlight so I mean for me I like it I think it's a little weird for some of the other guys in the store that are on the show but you know we wanted to kind of get our ideas out there with how we look at comics and how we look at the industry and uh, when we were approached if we wanted to do this show, we said we as long so it as was someone else's idea someone yeah, else came yeah. up with this we've okay. had, I mean over the years, and the trends of reality shows and stuff, mm -hmm. this isn't the first time that we've been approached oh, really? for a reality show. Uh, it's the first time it's ever gone past one or two lunch meetings. Uh, well, so why this time? What do you what do you think clicked? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, we've been we'd been working on this show with Parthenon, which is a UK production mm -hmm. company. They had the passion to actually keep going with the project, whereas other people kind of or other times kind of just seemed like it was just going to be a quick trend sort of thing and you know they were they were they're comic book fans too so they were really adamant on uh, pushing the idea and really making sure that it actually came out how long did it take to film the show we've been filming this for almost two years it's weird it's gone really th yeah it's been it's gone through a lot of changes uh you know they made uh basically they came over about two years ago, mm -hmm. a year and a half maybe, uh, to film us for, and they were just going to make a straight like documentary style thing with narration and things like that. It was going to air in the UK, and then they filmed for about three days straight. Uh, just one, it, when you watch the show, ninety nine percent of the shots are done by this one guy, this ca their camera guy Ed, who's an amazing guy. Um, so he came over all by himself and filmed for three days straight with us and some other uh, customers, things like that. Uh, went back to UK, they cut it, they really liked it a lot, and then they said, I think we can shop this to uh, you know, the US to see if it'll air there. So some people, though, will also bring up that you're not the first comic book reality show on US television. We are not. Right, are there's not. one on AMC with Kevin Smith. Yeah, yeah. And how is your show different than that show? Um, well, the, that show, uh, you know, the first season has aired already, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I guess a lot of people kind of compared it to as sort of a comic book Pawn Stars kind of thing where people come in, yes. they sell their stuff, it's all about the deal. Um, there's elements of that in our show as well, but it's not as strong uh, as, a, as a focus as it would be on theirs. Ours is more about kind of putting a spotlight on the comics community in general. Yeah. Uh, the people that come into the stores, uh, the people that work in the stores, just kind of showing them, um, uh, you know, in their their natural environment. Kind well, of that makes sense to me because I would imagine that while it's exciting to see someone selling their old comics, yeah. that's not a huge part of the industry. Right, right? exactly. Yeah. And, you know, you get a lot of people that uh, might not know the comic book world or the comic store world uh, watching the Kevin Smith show and they think, 
they might come off thinking that any old comic book or toy that's sitting on their shelf they can bring in and you know try and sell and it's not that's not what comic book stores are we're not pawn shops yeah I mean, yeah this isn't all trading yeah, up exactly yeah. I, I i think the shows I, I think the show's a lot of fun when but, people uh, come on wednesday they're walking out with exactly, merchandise exactly. they're not just bringing it in yeah and you guys get very crowded on wednesday how many people would you say go through the store Whew, on geez, a wednesday i would say at least two thousand people every week that's great on, on just a wednesday Do you, i know so would you say that movies are increasing the amount of people who read comics definitely are you uh, seeing that you know the like just using Avengers as an example, that movie did amazing. It's like the number three rated movie of all time. Yeah. Um, when I got to see it early in a Marvel screening, and at the end, oh, and I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure everyone here has seen it already. But at the end, when they show that that clip of Thanos, I just smiled half because I'm a fan and the other half because I was like, I gotta go tell everybody to order everything with Thanos in it because people are gonna come in and of course. Have they? Yeah, I mean, anything with Thanos' picture on it is like everyone wants to know more about oh, it. Oh, that's you know? great. When, when. So do you watch every movie and television show with that eye? Uh, I try to, you know, I try to enjoy it for what it is, but then also, you know, thinking of it from a marketing and business standpoint, it's like, what's gonna be big, what's gonna get, drive people into the store, stuff like that. So when someone sits down to watch Comic Store Heroes, what do you hope they walk away with? Um, I hope they walk away with uh, a different, if they, if they haven't yet formed an opinion of the comic book world, I hope that they walk away with an opinion that's of the nature of, you know, these are all really great people that have their own hopes and dreams and their own goals to achieve and comics are a way that they're uh, they're using comics as a way to achieve these goals and uh, you know become better people or advance their lives things like that who are some of the people on the show that you're going to be spotlighting uh will we have, you have jill pantosi jill pantosi yeah. yeah uh the nerdy bird she's on there um and she has you know Very amazingly inspiring story, story. Yeah. yeah and that, i think that really comes off uh in the in the uh, show too uh, we have Zoe, who uh, works at the store with us every now and then. She's on there. Uh, this other guy is named Chris, Chris Notarelli. He is a uh, fan film director who wants to make his own comic book slash movie. So it's kind of following his story about uh, creating the book and then creating a movie based on the book, that kind of stuff. So, uh, And then there's Alex, who's our back issue buyer. He's kind of set on this task to find this back issue for one of our owners that he's ah, been covering nice. all his life. And you can watch the trailer for it online on YouTube. There's a link in the video description. But one of the most interesting things that I heard in the trailer um, was that this, you, you guys are the biggest comic book store in America? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, we are pretty big. Uh, three stores. We just opened a, a fourth boutique location at the FAO Schwartz. Yes, I happened street. across that. Yes. Um, you know, our website serves worldwide. So as a company, as a whole, yeah, I think we're probably the biggest comic book uh, company in the U.S. That's really impressive. And the store was founded in 1997, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. First store was here in Times Square. Um, and, you know, we could have just been pushing and branching out ever since. Yeah, I love this store. I mean, it's one of the... It's well, you're here I, every week. I, I am, I am. We I, love you too. So. I'm a regular. And one of the things that I like about your store is that it's so accessible to the mainstream reader and also the new reader. Right. Um, one of the problems I had growing up getting comics is that, you know, there'd be that shady back of the store part. Yeah. And my parents were like, what's back there? I, think I remember wandering back there once, and I was like, whoa, turn around, Grace. Right, right. And, um, but these stores are great, and so I see a lot of kids come in here on the weekends and stuff. And you get a lot of tourists, too. Yeah, I mean, we try to keep it uh, friendly to everybody, whether you're a hardcore reader, uh, you're here every week, or, you know, this is your first time after just seeing the Avengers movie or something like that. It's, it's open to everybody. You're going to find something that, uh, whether you're into, uh, you know, really mainstream stuff or hard to find indie books. I mean, we try to cater to everybody. So be sure to tune in to Comic Store Heroes July 13th on National Geographic. And also check out their satellite store if you're in the New York area at uh, FAO Schwartz. It's pretty inspiring if you're a comic book fan to see uh, comic books being sold in such a mainstream, uh, iconic toy store. It's, yeah. it's pretty nice.